All right, so it's part three of the custom world series, and today I'm gonna be we're gonna be customizing our cities, so like changing the cities and uh, modifying cities if we if we need and adding new cities. Well, just in case the generation like messed up, which let's be honest, it probably did. So just get started. Yeah. First of all. Search up Paradox Interactive. You'll find your mod folder way easier like that. Go to your mod. Map. And we're going to start with editing our cities. So where are they? Um, like our physical cities. So we're going to open terrain in GIMP or Photoshop probably will work the exact same. And so these cities, I mean, let's be honest, they're a little too big. So you have two methods you can use to make them smaller. You could just grab the background color like this and just get them small as you want them to. So that, but it is going to look a little bit weird. I don't mind it, but you might. So what you might want to do is grab your province map. And put it over here and put it on top and then like make the opacity really little so then you'll be able to see where the borders are so make sure you're still painting on oh like, like what I did was dumb <laughs> make sure you're still painting on this so well actually I'm gonna go back okay put the province map on there Make it really transparent just enough so you can see and make sure you're on the right layer this one make sure you have the background color and make it however big you want that's good and oops good. Hardness. Make sure your hardness is 100, otherwise what happened to me will happen to you. And... Oh, that is fitting, like, perfectly. Then you can just get rid of the rest. So you can do that, or you can just do them however, so... We'll just do this city. You don't have to be exact. You can just do that. It's pretty good. It's good enough. <laughs> and you can just make it. You could. I don't know how many. I, th I, I don't know how many pixels it's supposed to be. Like minimum. But you can play around with that. Um, want to be a little bit more careful over here. Because you don't want to mess up the green border. And for over here. I'm going to just speed through the rest of these. Okay, now be careful in terrain areas like this, because you don't want to mess it up. <laughs> this one's huge. I'm going to just make this all desert over here. Try not to mess that water border up too much. That's 98.88. This is a little bit different, so you gotta be very careful around here to get all of it because you don't want just random city spots everywhere that we'll get rid of these ones as well just to make sure
This is a little bit of a bigger city, I guess. A little bit weird. Okay, this one's going to be fun. Clear that out, and if you want these little specks back, you can just go find a brush like that. Yeah, this will be good. Just place this a couple times. Try not to get on the city though. Because it's hard to tell the difference. Not going to deal with that city. That's fine. So make sure to disable the province that that province thing and just file overwrite terrain.bmp and you can just close it now. Card changes. Like the by when you discard changes there it doesn't actually discard the changes. I don't know why it says that. But we're gonna test this out in game, so Make sure your Hoi 4 is on debug mode, otherwise you won't be able to get the nudge tool. Make sure on the right version, because you know some mods aren't the newest version compatible, so you might have switched to an older version. So make sure you switch back to the newest version. Make sure your mod's enabled as well, and click play. All right, go into your nudge tool, and okay, I was about to say, I'm like, where the hell did the city go? So as you can see, the city's there. That's why you see it looks a little weird, so that's why I recommend you actually take the time and go through it, make sure they're the size of provinces, because it'll look just a lot better in general. Like, it just doesn't look that good to me, but it's fine. And so, and also for these ones on the the ones on the coast, like this, you're gonna want to cut a couple pixels off so it doesn't look like the city's merging with the water there. Yeah, so all this, I'm not gonna change it. If you want to, you can go through the time and make it edit it all good but now we're gonna I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do different kinds of cities so there's like four different types of cities there's the base one which is this this is like Western civilization like Europe and North America and South America and stuff like that and then there's the Asian ones which I'll show on screen um, so those are just basically the Asian cities, and there's the Middle Eastern cities. I'll show it on screen as well right now, obviously in the Middle East. And there's like the Middle European cities, which I will show on screen again. And so we're just going to pick which continents which. Um, I'm not going to show you how to make your own custom cities in this tutorial, but maybe later down I will. Or like custom city textures for this, but no, not right now. So let's get to that. All right. So minimize that for now. We're gonna act. Right click Hoi Four, 
Go to manage, browse local files, and now you can close it. Okay. So we got two folders we need. Don't do that. That's blinding. There we go. Go into map on your. This is like your main game directory. Go into map and open up your cities.bmp. Open with GIMP. I accidentally opened it with Visual Studios. So as you can see, the base one, which is most of the cities in the game, and then this is like middle, middle Europe. This is Middle East and Asia, of course. So it doesn't have to be. As you can see, it's not obviously just like beautifully done and you just draw wherever basically so we're gonna open up file open and actually we can just drag her in so you can just close that by clicking the X right there and drag in your your mod cities.bmp file Okay, so it should be blank like this. Now you can drag the other one into here. And as well, go into your mod folder and drag your province, no, not your provinces, not BMP, your terrain.bmp into there. So bring the terrain to the top and opacity, just make it a little bit visible. And this will just like flip through. So first we're going to start with our Middle Eastern countries, which I'm going to make this continent Middle Eastern countries. So just get a big brush. Make sure the hardness is pretty good. And on your, your on the blank one, click it and just do that. Boom. Nothing too beautiful, nothing too fancy. So, we'll also make this the Middle East as well, the big, like, Middle Eastern towns, at least. And, beautiful. So, now, grab, let's do the Asian-type, make sure you're on the right cities, that would be Asian-type cities, and we'll... To um right here. And actually I'm not gonna have this as my Asian cities. Middle middle or yeah, middle of Europe will do down here. Make sure you're on the right cities at BMP. That could have been bad. And We'll do like right there, just a little bit, you know. Go back to blue if you want to get rid of something. Beautiful. So, go minimize the terrain.bmp. Make sure this one is gone as well. And so we have it. It's all good. What we like to see. Click file. Overwrite cities.bmp. And you can click cl cl the X and discard changes. Now, we have our beautiful cities. Launch up 44. All right. And as you can see, that is now Middle Eastern. This is the Western, which is like the nor the base one. Not normal. Yeah, all good. We'll go to a random one over here. Beautiful. That's what we love to see. The one beautiful. So this should be no the the base one. Okay. 
this, yes, this is the middle European one. And this is the base one. Good. So obviously I'm going to have to fix these waters. I'll do that. I'll do that quickly. Then show the result. Beautiful. And for the Asian type cities, love to see it. That is beautiful. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Uh, next one should be trees. Why not? It should be trees though. And I have no idea what's going to happen after that. But thanks for being here. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, sorry for taking so long to put this video out. I've been busy. Uh, yeah. See you, boys.